when we hear the word protein, our first association often is with a protein shake that we drink after going to the gym. But did you know that there are thousands of different proteins constantly working inside our cells to keep us alive and healthy? I think you have all heard about genes and DNA, but did you know that most of our genes provide instructions for our cells to make different proteins? Today, I will tell you about a protein called TRIMT112. We all have this protein inside our bodies. Our cats and dogs have it, and plants, bacteria and yeast have it as well. However, the problem is that we don't fully understand why we have this protein and what it does. Dysfunctions of different proteins often contribute to diseases, and TRIMT is no exception. We know it contributes to cancer development, but we don't understand the exact mechanism. The topic of my research is to understand and discover what functions TRIMP 112 has inside our cells. Through my research, we have found that TRIMP binds together and then through that regulates and activates seven different proteins. Without this interaction with TRIMP, these proteins can't go and perform the specific function they have inside our cells. And uh, all, of se all seven of these proteins have been linked to different diseases, for example, a cancer, neurological pathologies, and diabetes. Through my research, we have also found that one of the proteins that TRIMP 112 regulates and activates, called N6AMT1, is involved in the regulation of cell growth and division. You can see how one cell is dividing into two cells on the screen right now. This process is called the cell cycle. Cells constantly divide inside of us. And this process is very tightly regulated because it is essential for our survival. The reason for that is that the two new cells must contain the exact same genetic information as the mother cell. If it doesn't happen, if this process is disturbed in any way, for example, by a faulty TRIMP-112 and N6 complex, it again contributes to diseases, for example, cancer. So in the end, why do we need to research this protein that no one's ever heard of. If we fully understand what this protein does inside of us and exactly how it contributes to different diseases, we could potentially use this knowledge to generate more effective medicine to treat these diseases. Thank you.